Hi everybody! Today for Creative Creatures, we're gonna see how I draw a camouflage. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't wanna watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, Look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. For those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, explanation time. So the idea is a camel, obviously, and camouflage, right? Like it, you can't see it, disappeared, that kind of thing. But the idea I had was that he liked okay so you know how uh, an octopus will make itself look like or no 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 let's like take butterflies how they look like big birds with the eyes and all that stuff that's what I'm going for so that he's he's not a very <laughs> I mean he's not a very strong guy so what he does is he um, makes himself look like a shark and that's what he thinks is is scary. That's what he thinks will, will keep everybody away, you know? So we got a little tail, we'll give him a little a little shark fin on the end of it too. So yeah, it's kind of like the whole, you know, the, the um, stick bugs, you know, the, the things that evolved to, to protect themselves and stuff like that. That's the idea. That's what I'm thinking of for a, a camel, a camouflage, that he's disguising himself as a scary, scary predator of the sea, even though he's on the land, you know? I just thought it was funny. Some, something different to do, you know? And that's the idea of creative creatures, is we're just doing crazy stuff just to see what comes out. And there we go. All right, let's give him some kind of face. Uh, let's see. Hey, you with the face. Some kind of camel face. And that's the other kind of fun thing is, you know, it's an excuse to try to draw an animal we've never drawn before. I don't know, maybe you have, I haven't. So I thought it would be good practice. Oh, and also thought of the two humps. That's why there's two, two uh, fins for a shark. That I'm doing the two humped camel. I can't remember which which was from where. I just googled it and found pictures of camels, and that's what I found. Uh, yeah, so I found the, the two hump and the single hump. So if anybody else knows out there, tell us. Let us know. What's the difference? Where are they from? Educate us. Educate us, right? Okay. I think that is good. I think I'm ready. It didn't take much of a sketch uh, because most of it's going to be with detail anyway. So I'm going to erase some of these sketch lines, but keep a lot because i got to see where I'm going. And and uh, welcome everybody to skip with the Sharpie portion. But... I want my Sharpie to stand out, not my pencil line. So I'm just gonna erase just lightly, just so I can make the darker lines disappear. And I can see where it's gonna go. I think that'll probably work. There we go. Let's welcome everybody that skipped to get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but a pencil finer than the fine point can find things that a fine point can't quite find. Sketch the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but I left myself enough to see where we're gonna go. So I'm gonna start with the Sharpie pen because I can do some of the finer details of the face. Then I'm gonna to graduate to the Sharpie fine point and make it thicker. But that being said, let's get going. And I've already described why he's a camouflage. If you'd like to know, go back to the pencil sketch portion. It's only a few minutes, it's not very long. But uh, it's a, it was a fun idea. 
All right, looks good to me. Let's give it some kind of nose. Give it. I say I always say him. It's a it's a natural reaction. But you never know. Could be could be a lady. Lady camouflage. All right. I'm just kind of adding a little extra uh, life, a little extra um, uh, je ne sais quoi, right? However they say it in French, you know, giving it uh, some life, some features, some who knows what. Okay, and I'm starting to thicken up some lines because I'm about to switch over to the big sharpie and you're gonna see a huge difference in line width. And so I'm matching what's about to happen. Let's go ahead and do it, let's switch over. I'm happy with that face. Okay, so we're gonna say that the jaw comes down here a little bit. See how thick that is? That's, that's why I wanted to match it. That's why I wanted to get ready. I like that. I like that. How's yours coming out? Awesome. Ooh, let's do this. Let's add a little bit of, of brow with the smaller Sharpie. Just so it kind of, it's subtle, you know? I always say Sharpies aren't subtle, but you can go with a, a thinner line like this to, to make it not so loud. Now the eyes, I'm not going to color in. I'm going to do that with color. I mean, I'm not going to solid color them in black, you know? I'm not gonna solid color them in black. You can tell I'm an educated man. But I always say, I'm not a speaker, I'm a drawer. Because I'm not gonna color them in. No, what did I say? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Okay, so something like that. Looks good to me. I say we get going with the rest. So, I'm gonna draw the neck, big old neck. Big, I wanted to say turkey neck for some reason. I wanted to say big old turkey neck. But it's not. It's a camel. Flage. Big old turkey camel. No. Not turkey. Sharkle. Big old sharkle. Sharkle camel. And right. Just adding a little extra like fuzz and fur because they're they're very furry animals, right? And uh, it also helped with, with this crazy idea of what's going on here. Why the, 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 the sharkle fins? Well, because he's a camouflage. That's why you want to know why. Go listen to the other part. All right, looks good, looks good. Let's do, it's a two humped camel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two sharkle fins. Sharkle. Oh yeah, something like that looks good to me. Let's give him a, a big old shark fin. Let's take a bite out of it. Like he's got he got into a fight. Someone tried to bite his shark fin. Something like that. And let's say let's go ahead and do the back end. So the back is coming through like this. So that means the back end is going to be. I'm gonna do a tail is why I wanted to do it. It's gonna be like this. We're gonna give him a little, on the end of his tail, instead of like like fur or, or, or it could be fur, I don't know, I don't know. But what I'm trying to say, we're gonna make it like a shark fin, something like this. And that's the whole camouflage idea, is that he's trying to look sharkish, sharktacular. Sharkarella is what he's trying to look. All right, awesome. And color is going to do more too. We'll do we'll do some crazy stuff with color. Okay, so now uh, the camouflage part is done. Let's do some some uh, some legs. So I'm going to give him some some fuzzy fur legs. Big old fuzzy fur legs. Look at that. Look at that. 
Look how big those legs are. Big old fuzzy legs. Just like that. And I'll do the, no, just in the front, just in the front. And we're gonna do some big old knobby knees. And this part's gonna look closer to a camel than the shark part. I mean, that's kind of the whole idea is like, he's just got, he's not very bright is what it is. You, you know what, no, you go back and you listen. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell the story twice because I don't wanna bore the people that heard it once. And if you wanna hear, you go back. Incentive, right? Okay, looks good. Let's add a little extra, like something, something, little. A little, uh, we'll say furry fur. We'll do something here, let's do a little. Because that's the trick is, is we're not gonna draw all the hairs. Uh, I've seen people that do, and that's great. More power to them. That's, that's that's awesome that you want to do that. That's not what I have time to do. I don't have time to draw every single little hairline. If you want to do it, you go for it too. You know. But uh, I'm not going to spend the entire day drawing hairlines when you know how to do it. You can figure it out, or you're not going to sit here and draw every single hair like I do if I do it one at a time. So I'm just going to let you do it. We'll do little stuff like that just to accent that we did it, right? All right. So now we're just gonna do the back legs. Let's just do, uh, okay, so we'll do, oh, we'll do, we'll give him a little belly. Big old camel belly. And then some back legs. We're gonna come down here like this. Here's the back to the hind leg. And a little, I guess, like elbow type kind of protrusion. And come down here, do a toe, there's the other one, something like that. We'll do them both together like the other legs back, but just right beside him. We'll say it's facing the other way, so all you can see is like that much of the other toe. All right. Now uh, that one won't cost you. That's a free toe. <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. You're welcome. I got grandpa jokes. But hey, I'm a grandpa. I'm allowed to do that. Okay. Again, little hairs. Little camel flage hairs. And there we go. There. You know what? Let's do the rest with color. So for creative creatures, that is a camouflage. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.